Welcome to Megamation Direct Line Training. This video will look at creating purchase requisitions. To access the requisition entry screen, go to Module, Purchase Orders, Requisition PO Entry. The requisition number is a sequential counter. It will always show the next available requisition number. Hit Tab or Enter to begin creating a requisition. Type is automatically set to REG. Status will always be new and will change as the requisition goes through its process. The date fills in with the current date. Enter a supplier by typing the supplier number in the supplier number field or by clicking the magnifying glass to bring up the supplier search window. Search a supplier by entering part of the supplier's name and using the equal to starting with, containing, and ending with hotkeys on the right. Alternatively, select show active suppliers only or show all suppliers and hit OK to show a list of suppliers. Choose from the list by single clicking and clicking OK. Click the Line Item Details tab to add items to be purchased. Add the parts or items to be purchased by filling in the fields on the right. Add an inventory part by entering the part number or by clicking the magnifying glass next to part number and using the inventory search to find the required part. Use the inventory search by entering one or more criteria, then clicking OK to see a list of parts that match that criteria. Alternatively, select the checkbox to display a list of parts available from the selected supplier and click OK, then choose from the displayed list. All detail part information will be carried over from the inventory detail entry. Information such as unit cost and tax information can be edited at this point if required. Enter the required quantity and line cost will be calculated automatically. If required, add a work order number and equipment number. Adding a date required will let the supplier know when the part is required by. Once all information has been entered, click Save. A line will appear in the pane on the left. To add a non-inventoried part, enter a generic ID in the part number field, such as bolt or filter. Use the description field to describe exactly what the part is. Enter each in the unit of measure and the required quantity. Enter the unit cost if available and tax information. Add other information such as work order number and equipment number, manufacturer, manufacturer part number if applicable then click Save. Click on the Approvals tab to enter the approval password in the Approved By field. This will ensure the requisition is sent to the appropriate next desk or that it can be turned into a PO. If required, also add a purchasing agent by clicking the drop-down and choosing from the list or typing the name in the Purchasing Agent field. Back on the General tab, there is an option to email the supplier for a price quote. Do this by clicking the email icon. Enter the supplier's email address, then click send. The supplier will receive an email with a link where they can enter price quotes and send them back. If not emailing supplier for quotes, save the requisition by clicking the save button in the taskbar or hitting control S on the keyboard. 